a great friend and mentor to me, your newly elected state senator and your former representative, Linda Dorsina Ford. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Congressman Capuano. It is great to be here with all of you. It is a beautiful day to be a Democrat, isn't it? But it's great to be a Democrat every day. Um, I want to take this time to recognize one of my colleagues in government, State Representative Carlos Henriquez is here, who's joined us. You know, it has been really an honor, an honor to serve as the state representative for the 12th Suffolk District for the past eight years. This is an incredible district, an incredible community with a lot of passion, hard workers, and people who are committed to bettering our neighborhood. And the 12th Suffolk District now represents 20% of the first Suffolk seat, which I'm excited about. Um, as the state senator, I'm excited to continue the work that we've done, building and continuing to build the partnership that we've built over the last several years. But it is great to be here as a Democrat and standing with our good friend, Dan Cullinane. Um, you all know this takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of courage um, to do this. This was a spirited, an engaging campaign. And I want to take this opportunity to recognize, recognize the Democratic candidates who, put, who got the courage and the leadership to put their name out there. I want to recognize Mary Tewitt, who's here today. Thank you. I want to recognize Stephanie Everett, who's here today, and her family. Thank you. And of course, I want to recognize our Democratic nominee, Dan Cullinane. Thank you. As you heard earlier, you know, Dan worked on a lot of campaigns and he's been plugged in the community for a long, long time. You know, Dan was my field director, worked as my field director in the Senate campaign, and a lot of our supporters right from the campaign worked on his. But Dan understands the importance of community building. And I'm confident that Dan will continue to maintain and enhance the partnership that we've built over the years. I believe Dan will make sure that every constituent in the, first, in the 12th Suffolk District have a voice. But obviously, he can't stand here alone. So I want to recognize Emily and bring Emily up here, his wife, who did so much on this campaign. So Emily would knock on doors. She is out there holding signs and doing all that she could, she could do. So thank you for allowing Dan, and that's what it is, because it is a partnership, right? Allowing Dan to put his name forward and to run for office. And I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Cullinane. Thank you for your work in the community and raising a good son, right, who understands the importance of Democrats and the democratic values of hard work, thinking of those and working on behalf of those that are don't have the means, that are poor, making sure that every family have an opportunity in terms of jobs and economic creation. So it is important. So I believe that Dan is going to be a great state senator. But we know we have September 10th to go. I mean, Dan will be a great state representative. But we know that it is right around the corner on September 10th, everybody. As Democrats, we need to mobilize and we need to get it done. Because there are two independents running and it's great. We love people running for office, but they're an independent. They're not a D, right? And we need Democrats. And so I want to thank all of you. I congratulate Dan on his victory today in the primary. But the work continues. Let us put our heads together. Let us put aside the differences, and let's make sure that we can capture the 12th Suffolk state rep seat and keep it as a democratic seat. Thank you so much. And in this amazing state of ours, we have incredible leadership. You all know this, but it starts from the top. And we recognize John Walsh, who we're going to miss as the head of the Mass Democratic Party, but you're still going to be around. We'll still bug you. Um, but it starts with the top. And how are we working on policies and legislation that are going to impact all of you here and folks in our neighborhoods and our communities around the Commonwealth. And so our governor, Governor Deval Patrick, has done an amazing job. 
He has been a leader in standing up for the issues that we all care about, making sure that there's opportunities and jobs for our families, making sure there's housing for people in our neighborhoods, making sure we are ahead in creating technology so we could be ahead of the other states in our great country. But the governor understands the importance of people and being a voice for you and standing up for us when it gets tough and difficult. So I want to recognize our good friend who has done an amazing work and we are going to miss you, though we have another year and a half to go. But it would have been great if you ran again, right? Okay. But that's a whole... But you know, our, our amazing governor, Governor Deval Patrick, please put a hand together.